Benedictus Benedicat per Christum Dominum Nostrum. I saw Smiley Grievance just now. I hope the sergeant wasn't too hard on him. What's that dreadful little larrikin been up to now? Do you know what he's doing, Mum? He's betting the boys real money that rosin splits the cane. Rosin? Uh, it's always been a sort of a superstition amongst the children out here. Don't ask me why. And has it been proved? That's what Smiley's betting about. He's rubbing rosin on his hands and this afternoon he's going to do something to get the cane. Well, whatever you may say about the boy, he must have lots of pluck. Of all the painful ways of raising money. You won't tell Smiley I told you. Will you, Dad? Well, if I hear any more tales out of school, it'll be you who'll be getting the cane. John! And don't speak with him out for... My children will take poetry this afternoon. We Are Seven by William Wordsworth. You begin, Jean. We Are Seven by William Wordsworth. I met a little cottage girl. She was eight years old. She said her hair was thick, with many a curl that clustered round her head. Very nice, Jean. Now your turn, Smiley. Two of us in the churchyard lie, my sister and my brother. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> I'm afraid you're using that wonderful imagination of yours, Smiley. Just look again and see that you've been inventing, haven't you? Yes, teacher. All right. Go on reading. How many of us then, said I, if they two are in heaven? The little maiden then replied, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> it must be the heat. I think you'd better go and lie down in the shade for a while. Oh, no, teacher. I'm all right. Well, if you keep on saying silly things like that, I shall take it for granted and send you home. Fred, continue reading. You run about, my little maid, your limbs, they are alive. If two are in the church, I'd like... Oh, Smiley pinched me! He did what? Smiley pinched my behind! Don't use that vulgar word, Jean. Smiley, is that right? Did you pinch Jean? That's right, teacher. I pinched her bum. Why, <laughs> <laughs> please? Go on with your reading. She's gone for the headmaster. Now you poor. I told you so. The moment has arrived. He's been behaving as naughtily as possible and finished off by pinching Jean's behind. <laughs> right. Send him in. Smiley grievance. Go along to the master's room. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, Fred. Go on reading. Their graves are green, they may be seen, the little maids in sight. Their steps will walk from another shore, and they are side by side. How many are you here? Come in. Miss Workman tells me you've been misbehaving. Sorry, sir. I cannot allow goings on like that in my school. So I'm going to make an example of you. Yes, sir. Uh, no, Smiley, I think we'll try the place where you pinch Jean. Bend over. Bend, bend. No, bend over. If they two are in heaven, quick was the little... That's all. And Smiley, you can uh, keep the picture. And uh, here's, uh, here's something towards your bike. A bob. Gee, thanks, sir. Oh, and uh, Smiley. You can take my word for it, Rosin does not split the cane. the fight about, Smiley? Oh, a bloke told on me. He told the master Smiley had rosin on his hands. No tale telling. I don't want to know the culprit's name. Tell me one thing. Did you sock him? I stuffed 
in months. Stoush, the appropriate punishment, my lad. Rough justice in the Old Testament fashion. Tell me, how's the Smiley Grievin's bicycle purchasing fun going? I suppose you've succumbed to temptation and spent it all on lollies? Not on your life, Mr. Lambert. You gave me sixpence, teacher gave me a bob, and sergeant gave me a bob, and then sevenpence from get, telling the master to cane me, and then I, I made fourpence from showing off me behind. Your what? Oh, where the, where the master came to me. I'll bet you deserved it. You bet your sweet life I did. And what's your total, Joey? Nothing, Mr. Lambert. I sort of squandered it. To him that hath shall be given, provided that he earns it. Smiley, you remember Jim Crowther, who usually rings the bell for church? Yes, Mr. Well, Lambert. Well, he's gone to live in Gamble. So how would you like to take over the job? One penny per tint in abulation. Start Sunday at the early service. First bell, 7.30. Second bell, a quarter to eight. Third bell, eight o'clock. Three tintinabulations at one penny per tintinabulation makes. How much? Trippins. Right. Same for the 11 o'clock service and then for Sunday school. Ninepence in all. OK? Gee, that's bonza, Mr. Lambert. So long, Smiley. So yeah. long, Joey. So long, Mr. Lambert. And hey, Mr. Lambert. Yes, my boy? Do I have to go to church? Every time I ring the bell? <laughs> no, no, no. Only morning service and then Sunday school. Jehovah be with you.